Welcome to a rather warm Magaluf this Sunday afternoon. It's a gorgeous day here. Well, it's a little bit cloudy, but we've got highs today of, well, nearly 26 degrees. It's absolutely roasting. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mallorca Under the Sun live stream, the very first live stream of the summer. We're in April now and pretty much everything's open um, and I'm down here in Magaluf. Haven't done a live stream here for a while, so we're going to take a walk around the resort. We're going to go and see what it's like. But first of all, I have to say a huge thank you to James, also to Tommy. I can see a cat in the background there. And also as well to Wayne as well for your super chat starting off this live stream today. And also I want to say a quick hello to a little girl called Layla, who I do believe is watching as well. Now, let me know if you can hear me and see me. I'm just going to scroll up through the chats. And in the meantime, let's turn the camera around. Right, you can see where I, at, where I am. I'm at right outside the house of Kathmandu. You can see it's open. What a change, hey? What a change a couple of weeks has made. Two weeks ago, I was over in Kalamalaw. I was absolutely freezing. It was blowing a gale. I'd forgotten to take my coat. I found all the jumpers in my car and put them on. It was that cold. Today, I'm in the shorts first shorts of the year as well so looking really pale um, I don't think it's going to take very long to get a suntan out here actually with the strength of the sun and with the heat that we're getting already in April right we're going to come up the side of Kathmandu so I'm outside one of Mallorca's top tourist attractions this theme park here it's great for a rainy day it's a great um, idea to visit here as well to get out of the heat We've got a little shopping center to our right hand side as well and we've got Aldi down the road, so we're going to go and, go and check that out. Guys, let me know as well what the signal is like today. I'm just going to scroll up through the chat. Wayne, yeah, not long now for you coming out. I do believe you guys are coming out very soon in June. I'm, I'm sure I'll see you. Gurkhan over in Turkey, good afternoon. You say you're going to move here one day. Don't blame you. Look at this, look. So look, Kathmandu is open. It's quite busy in there, actually. You may well have seen, actually, that I've just published on the channel my, um, my experience of traveling from Bristol to Palma yesterday. We came back from our Easter holiday break in the southwest of England. And of course, I had to film the, the flight back. We were up against quite a few challenges, not least flying by Ryanair and also Storm Kathleen as well as all these rumoured uh, queues at, at border patrol, patrol, at passport control coming into Palmer. So yeah, <laughs> that was an interesting flight. I, I, I kind of look forward less and less to travelling now sometimes when we have this bad weather. It can be a little bit stressful, but check out my video and you'll see what it's like especially if you're coming over in the next few days. I would say though, if you are traveling, don't worry too much. Don't always believe what you see in the press. Every single day isn't how they portray it to be. So sometimes obviously there are gonna be a few blips over the summer, but um, anyway, make sure you check out the video after this video, that is. Great, I can see some messages saying the signals are great. Thank goodness for that. I'm going to be back down here in Magaluf actually this week. I've got some content to make down here this week and also maybe to meet a few subscribers who are around in town and I'll make a proper recorded video if you're coming over. There's a price guide here for Kathmandu for this year. Linda, I can see you asking what the evening time temperatures are like. Well, last night was absolutely roasting. I mean, I was, it was such a shock coming from the UK, actually, and um, experiencing temperatures which were, I would say, pretty much like December at times. It was absolutely freezing for some of the days of our trip. So uh, we've got these lovely warm temperatures. I don't think it's going to last all the way through the week. So if I were you, do bring a jumper for the evening, bring a jacket, bring some jeans because we've got these really warm winds coming up from Africa and I don't think it's going to last because we're not quite in the summer yet. So it's a bit of a, an iffy time of year. Right, we're just coming up to the junction here before we head over. You can see the Casa Sabonis is down that way. We're going to take a left 
up here, coming down through the resort, down the side of Kathmandu, and let's keep going. Right, let me just check out some more comments here. I've got the sun in my face. It's a little bit hard to, to read this afternoon. I do apologise. Also, as well, guys, I have to say, if you are coming on holiday, while we did have a, a flight, you know, an okayish flight coming back over here, I got back to our apartment last night, and at some point during our stay, the, uh, the electricity had tripped. So literally the biggest nightmare of our journey, which I didn't include in the video, was that um, we got back to a fridge that had completely defrosted. <laughs> and I'm absolutely shattered today because we spent the best part of last night clearing out the fridge and trying to get a few essentials as well from the supermarkets that are open. And I just have to say supermarkets here are open till 10 p.m. Lidl and Aldi are at least. Um, so yeah it wasn't a great great end to a trip actually but you can't have it all Gurkan, thank you so much for your super chat it's just come flying onto the screen look at this is this a changing face of uh of magaluf down here look we've got um a for rent sign over here at a uh, live performance club is it a lap dancing club i'm not too sure keep going down got quite a few tourists he heading towards me as well it's very very busy down here let's just cross over I've got a bus stop just across the road as well from me and we're coming up outside Morgan's and Zeppelin's as well this is um, amazing entertainment in this area evening entertainment if you if you like your your live music especially in Zeppelin's, really, really good. I don't know much about Morgan's, unfortunately, but I'm sure I'll find out this summer. Who else have we got on the live stream today? Let me just go back through the chat. I have to apologise if I've missed some of the messages. I went chatting away here and... Uh... Let's have a quick look in here. Look, they've got live TVs up as well, which is really, really good to see. Hi Andy, you're watching from a very cold Glasgow. Ronnie and Diane, you're watching from Northern Ireland. Has it stopped raining over there? I know you, you guys got hit by the storm pretty badly yesterday. I hope it's passed over now. James, you're watching, a huge hello to Callum as well. And Caroline, good afternoon. Linda, you are coming to Magaluf tomorrow be coming up to one of your favourite bars in just a second actually just outside Panama Jacks we've got a lot of well a lot of places have opened up lots of places haven't either because well the official start to the tourism season is on the 1st of May so you're going to find a few places like this empty maybe some of the slightly bigger places you can see KFC's open though and it's very busy and we're just coming up on my left hand side to the Hotel Samos if you're thinking of staying here, you'll find a video on my channel having a quick look around the Hotel Samos from a couple of years ago. It's a very nice hotel. I know I've promised you guys as well, I've got a, an exclusive from over in Palma Nova too. That should hopefully be coming out at some point and I'll explain to you in my next live stream the delay on that one as well. Glyn, are you watching? Did I just see your name? I think I've just pinged past your name here. I think you're watching and I think you might be working as well. Oh no, oh bless you. Can I, I'm, I'm live streaming, can, can, I, put, can I put the camera? I saw a comment pop up from you, sweetie. This is Layla, everyone, who I mentioned right at the beginning of the live stream. How are you? Are you here on holiday? And what do you think of your holiday? You're, you're like, you're enjoying it. It's ever so warm, isn't it? It's so warm. It's, it's so warm. And what's your name, Mum? I'm Erin. You're Erin, where, where are you from? North Northern. Whereabouts? Um, right, past Northern Belfast. Okay, so we've got we've got Erin and Layla from Northern Ireland, just a little bit up from Belfast. And have you got something for me? 
Oh, I love this. Super fan. She watches you all the time. <laughs> I've got see. I've got super fan guys. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look, guys. Look, check this out. Look. Do you know what? That's one of the nicest things I've had any subscriber get for me. That is so sweet. You are so sweet. Thank you very much, eh? Hey? The lesser. That's actually really made by day, everyone. Oh. <laughs> Sorry yeah. for Oh no. Well, look, listen, you have a lovely rest of your holiday, okay? And I'll be down in the week. I might see you again. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, you take care, sweetie, okay? Bye bye, bye sweetie. Bye. bye. Guys, that's the cutest thing ever. I have to say. I'm going to keep that is going on the fridge at home. I'm telling you, look at that. I love it. I've got a picture and everything. And look, at look, look, I'm going to open it up as well. Look, we haven't seen the full design. Check this out later. If you're watching this later, look at this. Oh, bless you. I'm a big fan of your videos. I hope you like the picture. I love the picture. Guys, that is lovely. I'm just going to pop this into my backpack because I don't want it to get crumpled. Just wait there one second. That is so sweet. Do you know what? I love the summer months. This is why I get so bored over the winter because um, we just don't have anyone over here. We just have the residents. I'm not saying your residents are boring, but it's so nice to meet um, people who watch the channel as well, who come over in the summer. So thank you ever so much. And I'll be around and about the island as well. So if you're out here on holiday, I'll be filming as much as possible. And hopefully I'll get to meet some of you guys too. I'm just coming up past Stinky's pub. It's looking busy. Did I see from um, Alan, from Alan's homemade vlogs that there's a big game going on up in Scotland today. And I think I'm passing Benny Hills now. And there is, I see some football on. So, if I'm missing any viewers from this stream, I'm going to know why. I'll let you off. Let's have a quick look around. Let's see, see who's playing. Oh, this is massively popular Benny, Benny Hills. Got quite a few people in today. And it really does look like summer. Now, just down this road here, you're going to know we've got the Fergus the brand new Fergus Water Park Hotel. We've got a few other um, hotels being done up as well down the side. If you want to see my video in January, I'm going to come back and make a separate video, only because they've kind of boarded off the pavement and it's a bit dangerous to walk past. And if I'm staring at comments and in the road, you could see me getting flattened. So I won't go down there today, but I'll be back in the week to make that video. Joe and Sue from Newcastle, good afternoon. Alan, you're coming over to Palma Nova on the 22nd. Now look, Coco Bongos as well, big bar down here, very busy in the summer, not open yet either. I think we really are gonna see the proper season opening down here on the 1st of May. I thought maybe a few more bits and bobs would be open, but of course after the Easter holidays, things might um, die off slightly. So I think some of the bigger places are a little bit more reluctant in opening. Linda, you're saying it's raining here in Southport. Well, you're not going to get very much rain this week <laughs> over in Mallorca, because even though we've got these uh, high temperatures now, the temperatures are going to dip down a bit, but I can't see any rain on the horizon, not for a long time. Right, so we're just coming out. Um, in the area and I can see actually John and Marie good afternoon I have just seen your super chat coming flying onto the screen as well thank you very much that's super kind of you thank you so much hey look you can just see right above me here this is the Melia inside and um, we've got the rooftop swimming pool here overhanging swimming pool and they've now got water in it so that's that's looking good and Keith grand thank you so much for your super chat too much appreciated Thank you very much, Keith. I hope it's sunny over in Suffolk today. Amanda from the Facebook group told me that they had something like 26 degrees yesterday as well. So I think you guys have had some, a mixture of nice and awful weather all at the same time. I 
I can see one comment here, I can't read your news the name, but it says that you're planning to come with Jet to late May and you can't decide on where yet. And the Alcudia area is high on your list. I'm getting quite a few comments actually, messages coming through from people saying, I don't know where to go. So I might make some content to help you out with that. Basically, wherever you choose, you can't really go wrong. Um, and if you do pick one place and you, you're torn between the two, just come back to the other place next year. Right, we're walking parallel to the beach now. So if you can, uh, you can see the back of the inside here, you can see the entrance. We've got all sorts of businesses around there as well. John and Marie, you're coming over in September. Hopefully I'll, I shall see you as well. I'll be very keen to buy you guys a coffee and just say hello as well. And thank you so much for supporting the channel so much in the past few months as well. It's much appreciated. Alcudia questions. I'm going to be over in Alcudia this week at some point so I haven't been over there for a couple of weeks but I shall be out there again this week. I'm going to go and get an update from there. Right so far end of Alcudia here, well, Al um, Alcudia, we're in Magaluf aren't we? Now the far end of, um, of Magaluf Resort we've got another taxi rank here if you're looking to get taxis. This road goes down towards the Sol of Guadalupe as well which you can just see over in the corner, let me just hold the camera up here. You've got the Sol Guad Guadalupe or Guadalupe, and we've got another BH hotel over there. But like I said, I'll, I shall pop back and make a recorded video. But we're going to head on down towards the beach. Let's go and see what else is open because I think we've got loads more bars and cafes that have opened now for the for the summer. I've just seen the comment as well, is that Playa de Moro as nice as it looks? Can you get to Alcudia Water Park and the Old Town by bus? Yes, yes and yes. That's really easily answered. Yes, it is absolutely lovely. You can get everywhere up in the northeast very easily too. Goodness me, we've got buses pouring through the resort this afternoon that are full of, uh, full of incoming or outgoing tourists. Right, we're going to shoot down this little pathway here to the beach. Hold on, let's go, let's go down here. I'm just coming up past the, the piano bar. It's looking uh, rather few people in there this afternoon. As you know, we've got the beach access down the side. You can see we're just on the side of Nikki Beach here. It's a little pathway down to the beach and I can see the police waiting at the end. Connor Purvis, you love MAGA apparently. Hope you're coming to visit us here soon. Joe, good afternoon. From AJ's in Chester. And you're hoping to spot us in Magaluf today. You can see where I am actually. I'm going to be coming down, I'm going to be hitting the beach in just a couple of minutes. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm literally coming down. I'll just put the camera on myself because I'm, otherwise I'm literally filming the police. I don't know what they're doing. I can turn the camera around. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see actually what the beach is like today. I do know that the sunbeds are going to be coming out here in, I'd say, probably about the next week or 10 days. I've seen we've already got sunbeds over in... Um, starting to be laid out over on San Matias Beach. I'll just flip the camera again. I um, don't know what's going on there. Anyway, um, but let's see if we've got any, anything looking like the start of summer from down here. Hold on. Oh my goodness, it's so busy. I feel like I've just stepped into summer. I've literally just stepped into summer, everybody. So 
So we are looking at a very busy Magaluf beach over here in April. I think a lot of people are obviously coming to escape that awful weather that we had in the UK or we're having in the UK um, and also in Northern Europe as well. I cannot believe just a few weeks ago this entire beach was absolutely empty. It's looking more like May here, it's looking like, like the beginning of June. And Sharon, thank you so much for your super chat that's just popped up this afternoon too. And to Stefan. Good afternoon, Stefan, how are you doing? Both of you, thank you so much. Sharon, you're staying at the, the Casa Sabonas from the 11th of June. That sounds wonderful. Blimey, it's busy up here. Right, just having a quick look up, up the side. You can see we're around the corner of the Ankle of Verde. In the few days that we're away, everything's just literally sprung open. And you can see as well that the, the sun is struggling to come out. We, we started off the day with a very, very um, cloudy day here, but the sun is trying to come out, but we have got these really warm temperatures. David, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your super chat. Okay, so you can just see we're coming up past the just come past the Ancla Verde, which is behind me. We've also got the Puerto Rico, the new look Puerto Rico to my left hand side too. And I've just come up past this group in front of me as well. My goodness me guys, it really, it feels like, it really does feel like June down here. It's great to see, but no zero boat, boat house has opened up here just yet. I seem to remember it took its time opening. Um, was it last year or did it even open? Gary, you're on the countdown. 171 days until you arrive here. And guys, what can I see in front of me? The brand new Tom Brown's, which has opened up and it's looking quite busy. And as many of you know, it did extend into um, the happy house, the happy place right next door. We've still got a happy house further on down the beach, a little bit further down. Let's come up along the side. Now, Admin Ann has been wanting to go for breakfast down here. Admin Ann from the Facebook group. So I think we might be going in here at some point. We're going to see what it's like, see if it's quite good. But as you can see, it's actually as popular as it normally is. Let's see. Now look, look, this is the new extension here. Oh, my camera keeps flipping. So this used to be all happy house area down here. We've now got um, a lot more seating. There's a huge, massive sports screen down there too. There was rumor of they're going to be a bouncy castle, but I can't see one just yet. And look, just coming up towards the Zachary Palace here. This hasn't opened. In fact, they've got loads of work to do. That's a, let's have a quick, quick spin around the beach here. We also don't have any lifeguards out yet either. I mentioned it in my, in my April update. The lifeguards are gonna come onto the beach after we get the sun umbrellas and the sunbeds. They're gonna be out more around uh, the 1st of May. Have a little walk down here. We've got a lot of residents that have come down down to the beach today. I actually can't believe it. It's super super busy. Dance at ten. You can't wait to come over to your second home. And Helen, you're saying, "What a shame, Mallorca lost yesterday." Yes, it was the Copa del Rey yesterday. I heard when they first scored because the entire neighbourhood erupted and had they, had they won I don't think anyone would have got any sleep last night because whenever a significant game is won here um, in Spain, literally the neighbourhoods light up with fireworks, everyone's driving around honking their horns, there's massive parties and it's a bit of a shame actually, we can't win them all. I think they did really well to get through to the final. But I managed to miss it all because I was clearing out the fridge which was absolutely rubbish. 
John, I'm sorry if you, apologies to anyone who's picked up an advert. I had something from YouTube that said that they're going to occasionally put ads on live streams. Now look, we saw how busy it was up at the far end of the beach. It's not busy all over the beach just yet. We've got this huge empty space here. They still haven't even cleared away a lot of the winter seaweed either. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm on YouTube now. <laughs> Oh bless you. Yes, yeah, I'm often down there as well. Oh bless you. You're here on holiday? Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hi, Alex, how are oh you? hi, how are you doing? Oh are you? Can I put I'm doing a live stream from there? Guys, look, I've just met up with a couple of other um subscribers. Gu <laughs> Guys, how's your holiday been? A great time. Yeah, We're staying fantastic. at the Zafiro and you did the video, the walk around for us, so thank you, it's been amazing. Oh, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. Fantastic weather. You, 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 you can't, I mean, you can't complain about the weather. It's a little yeah. bit cloudy today, but the sun's going to be out, I still, think, tomorrow. Still boiling hot. Yeah. Still boiling hot. Yeah. Do you hear that, everyone? It's <laughs> boiling hot. It wasn't in the UK when I was there. No. <laughs> so much. Anyway, nice to meet you. you okay, okay, bye. Yeah, you can absolutely um, guarantee that if you're coming over here, even if we don't get um, like super, super sunny weather, that it's still going to be a lot nicer than it was in the UK. I was walking around in my, my hat, scarf and gloves in England, saying rather pleasant things about the weather. So if you do come over, um, do make sure you can get yourself a cheap flight we actually flew back yesterday bearing in mind it was a saturday and it was in the still in the school holidays our flights were 77 euros each um, and i could have actually have got our flights a lot cheaper had we traveled maybe like on monday or something like that or just a day that, that wasn't at the weekend but obviously we have to get back because my daughter's back at school on monday so there's some really good deals to be had and a lot of the hotels are a lot cheaper as well now than they will be in a couple of months time and of course you're going to get the weather the only thing you're not going to get is everything open and you can see here look i'm outside um hadley's hadley's club here oh my my gimbal went skew with them but look just popping in then this obviously looks like nothing like it is ready at all the swimming pool is green the flow rider surf machine which wasn't working for much of last summer obviously is an opening um i don't know when this is open i'm guessing the first of may will be the opening date pretty much like it was last year Michael, you're saying it looks quite scruffy with all the weeds. I'll tell you what though, we've got one of the best councils down here in terms of gardening, um, not just in Calvia, but all over the islands. They're always out here gardening and I'm pretty sure they, the gardeners will be, be out to sort out the weeds before the start of the season. Craig, that's quite nice. You're over at the moment, yes. Of course you are. And you watched the game as well, the football in a local bar and it erupted. I bet it did. It's absolutely brilliant. If you want really good atmosphere over here watching the football, um, come over when Spain is playing or um, like the island as well is playing a major game. And you'll, you'll see what the atmosphere is like because everyone goes absolutely nuts. Just coming past Bamboo Beach. It's looking quite busy. I haven't seen all the queues yet that we normally get coming uh, outside the bars and the restaurants thank goodness but be prepared if you are coming over in the month or so be prepared for that busy summer because we are going to get a busy summer down here and it's not going to be long till we see all the all the queues outside the restaurants and the bars and that's when i'm going to be telling you all to to pre-book your tables as well research where you want to go and pre-book jimmy and Jow, good afternoon and thank you for your super chat that's so sweet. Thank you so much, guys. I hope the weather's treating you well over in New York. I hate to say it as well, my daughter wants to go to New York. She's, she's sowed the seed. I'm like, where, where should we go on holiday? And she said New York. And I'm like, oh, oh, OK. So uh, not somewhere like Barcelona. So that'd be work in progress, I think, that, that trip. 
Rotti, you're saying that you came over four weeks ago, you loved it that much, you're coming back on Friday the 12th for your wedding anniversary. And you love the crazy golf in Palmanova. Brilliant, that is lovely. You see, people are coming over here, not just uh, in the summer, but um, when you can get a really good deal on the flights. And those good deals can be had as well. And oh my goodness, I can see as well, we've got 229 people on this live stream this afternoon. If anyone watching this live stream can hit that um, like button, I'd really appreciate it. It will help roll the stream out to others who are interested in coming out to Magaluf or indeed Palmanova this summer. Also, if you're new to the channel as well, my name is Alex. I'll just put the I'm just coming up past Blackbeards here. Blackbeards, one of my favourite places. <laughs> on the island has now reopened and uh, had we remembered that it would be open last night we probably would have come down here for dinner when we had no food in the fridge but um, this is one of my favourite places I'm sure I'll be back to let you know what's on the menu for this year but just let me just flip that round again if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing I've been on the island for nearly 19 years I've got loads of holiday guides, travel tips, holiday news and more on my channel too. So make sure you check out those videos and I'll bring you, be bringing you all the latest up to today information for your trip as well. My aim for this year, someone asked me what my aim for this year was and I'm hoping to get to 30,000 subscribers by the end of October. So um, let's see if that happens. Michael, thank you so much for subscribing. And Craig, yes, I see those prices. We might have to watch a few more um, series of Friends, I think. That might be the closest we get to New York at the moment, so. And Jimmy, you're saying it's eight degrees, wow. That is rather chilly. Now, look, I'm outside oceans. I can't believe, guys, I just can't believe that um, it's open. I'm just gonna do a bit of a 360 here as we come up towards uh, Oceans Beach. It's nice to hear some music pumping out from over here um, this afternoon. Sometimes it can be a little bit, um, sometimes they don't have the music licenses down here, or the music licenses do get removed and it gets very quiet. I can hear lots of music being pumped out from oceans this afternoon, which is amazing. And I've just seen Craig, thank you very much for your super chat as well. Much appreciated. So yeah, it's looking quite busy down here and above as well. I'm gonna to have to keep talking because of the music. I don't get hit by a uh, content copyright claim here for using a soundtrack on the video. So I'm just gonna pass it on by. My big question actually is whether we're gonna hear music outside of Crusoe's bar because I remember last year it was very, very quiet down here and they didn't have any music playing. Let's have a quick look. And I can't hear any music coming out from here either, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'll spin the camera around in a minute and we can take a look. You can see right behind me here, I'm just coming up past, uh, past Crusoe's. They do really nice iced coffee in there as well. So when I'm down here in the week, I might have to go and get another one of those. Got all the usual places as well that have opened up too. So, or something a bit larger. Look, you've even got ice creams and cakes and stuff down here too. Now look, we're seeing as well, this place hasn't opened yet. We're outside the Taqueria. There's a sign here that's saying staff wanted. It's a, it's a chill, it's a, it's a lounge bar, basically. Do nice cocktails and stuff, but it hasn't opened just yet. I've had loads and loads of requests as well, um, asking me to take a look at various hotels. Um, at the moment, because we're in season, the only way I can actually look at on the inside of hotels and the rooms is if either um, if you guys, anyone's staying around the hotels and uh, I'm in a certain resort, maybe I can just sneak in with you to have a look around at the grounds, but it's very hard to film inside. You kind of need to be invited. Um, and also the problem with uh, 
Well, the main issue with filming with the hotels as well is that they ob obviously have a different agenda as well if you're filming. So, Paul, you have lived and worked in Magaluf since 2017. And you love the place. I'm not surprised, really. Look, here we are. Look, we're down at the, the happy house, the remaining happy house down here. I see they're doing uh, breakfast for 4 95 which is an absolute bargain. Just spin the camera around. It's really nice to see. It's very busy as well in there. You can also get another breakfast for uh, 5 95 too. got Sirocco as well this hasn't opened up yet one of these down here actually didn't open last summer either and yeah Connor the Florida um, is one of the best places for food in Palma Nova just over the way Jeffrey you're arriving tomorrow have a safe flight I'm sure your flight will, will go absolutely fine mouse house pottery let's get the Mac master out there and have some lunch, that'd be good fun. I'd love Lee. I'm such a huge fan of the MacMaster. I love his channel. Um, absolutely fantastic. So if anyone knows the MacMaster, do get Matt to, to come over to, to Magaluf. I'd love to film with him. He's absolutely hilarious. He's, I think he's, he's one of the kings of travel, travel vlogging as well, along with uh, Walk With Me Tim. So really good entertain, entertaining uh, videos to watch. Have we got more police right at the end of this beach? I think we do. Let's have a look. Now, remember last summer, there was a really lovely chilled out beach club down here as well that's playing some absolutely lovely music. The, I think it's called the Iraru or something. Can't read the sign. But the Guardia Civil are currently outside. Patrolling Magaluf Beach, waiting for the sign of any trouble to kick off, or maybe they're just staring at this huge pile of seaweed that's in front of me. Um, Leanne, you're asking, am I going to Calaegos? Yes, I am. I'll be down in Calador Way um, very soon, actually. It's been a while, but um, I'm going to just walk up, guys, to the I'm going to head up back round up the strip as well and go and check that out on this live stream. I'm going to see what's open during the day down there as well. I'm going to see if anyone is out too. I've got lots of content to make in the southeast of New York as well, all around Calador Way too. It'll be interesting to see if it's also busy down here in the week. My daughter's at international school, so she's going to be going, uh, she's going back on Monday to school. I think the public schools have got a few more days off. Let me just jump around the corner here. Dodge around the wall. It's so busy here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid people too. Are the mosquitoes bad? Joanne, no, they're not. I haven't been bitten and I'm not wearing any uh, repellents at the moment. So I wouldn't say they're bad at the moment. However, you'll see in my airport video that I, I did pick up some mozzie repellents, some quite well-known mozzie repellents over at Bristol Airport. I'm going to test what it's like. I'm going to see, I'm going to do a bit of a test this summer. We'll see if it works. Because mozzies normally absolutely love me, so. I got the strongest. And I'll also find as well, they don't tend to start biting onto the round June either. So fingers crossed that stays the same for this year. Jim, thank you very much for letting me know. I hope the signal's okay as well. Gloria, hello. I have to answer your email as well. I'll get round to it. I'm so sorry, everyone. I've, I've kind of tried to have a bit of a break this week, trying to spend some time with my mum in the UK and I've um, got a ton of emails. I've had to work as well. I want to get some content out too. And um, I know I've got a ton of emails 
which I haven't answered, so I do apologise. It's just me doing the channel and the website. I've obviously got the team of girls over on the, on the Facebook group, Anne, Amanda and Louise, who also runs her own YouTube channel called Southwest Sundays and has an amazing video out today too. Um, so I do apologise. I do get some messages saying, we haven't heard from you and I emailed you and I'm like, well, I've been like super busy, so. So that's kind of what happened there really, but I will, I always get around to everything eventually. <laughs> I would like to have a team of people, but it's just not financially viable to help me out with the editing and all the design and everything like that. So what you see, I'm afraid, is uh, what one person can do. But anyways, right, we're gonna head up, up to the strip. We're gonna just come down the side of Black Beers. We're in the square and uh, I hear music coming at me from all directions. It'll be interesting actually um, to see if actual Magaluf Square is open, but I'm gonna be down here making my first nighttime video from Magaluf very soon actually as well. So we can see what the atmosphere is like if you're wanting a night out down here too. And here's one of the newbies on the strip for this year as well. We've got Unique. You may remember they were building this last year. Had all the scaffolding up. But this year it is open. And by the looks of it, it's a great place to watch the sport as well. I literally can't tell who's playing. I see a green shirt. Simon, good afternoon. Is BCM open? It was open over Easter actually. I know they had a huge night over the Easter weekend. Thank you, Diane. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's open. They're going to have a series of, uh, I've got a whole, whole programme of DJs as well. So that's really good to see. OK, so I'm outside the brand new Unique. We're going to take a walk up the strip now. And we can actually see there are a few people down here seeing what's open. I think Unique is one of the main places. It's open during the day. Let's have a look. We're outside Tom Brown's. It's obviously closed at the moment. It's hard to tell what opens up at night without coming down here, to be honest, but we'll, we shall soon find out. Sue and Pat, you're coming out next month. That sounds brilliant too. I know this is a silent disco here too on the JD Terrace. I can't believe a lot of the clubs down here, they've actually turned into silent discos. It's like you are allowed to party, but we just don't want to hear it. Which is a little bit sad, but um, there you go. At least it's open anyway. Got night flight too. I suspect with all the holiday makers we've got, got out at the moment, there should be quite a good atmosphere down here on the evening. It never gets really busy down um, in Magaluf Strip until around midnight, one o'clock-ish. You often get busloads of people being shipped in as well from around the island too. Tiger Tiger open. And this little strip here of all the Alex's uh, bars, which is quite iconic. Nothing to do with me. There you have it. <laughs> have they sorted the mozzie issue? Do you know what? I need to chase that up. Um, I have asked and I have yet to receive a reply and in fact there's quite a few uh, replies I haven't received asking various holiday questions that you guys need to know about as well so leave it with me I'm back on the island now hoping to answer several of your important questions very soon that we've got a supermarket here on the strip too which is already open 
Oh, there goes the police again. Honestly, I don't think anywhere is so well patrolled by the police as down in Magaluf. I honestly don't know what they're expecting to happen down here. Don't be put off by it. Um, you really don't get that much trouble down here at all. Marie, you say you went to Blackbeard's this summer. The food's amazing. It's always really good value. I've got no idea of the pricing this year, but I'll get... Um, I get a general idea of all of that as we um, head on into the spring. Just coming up by. Without pointing the camera in, look, you can see I'm just coming up by, by Legends as well, that's open. We're coming up to Wilds as well. Will that be open? I am not sure. We've got the kind of Scandi bars down here as well, Scandinavian bars. And the one place that is always open year round, and it's very busy today, is the Three Lions. So it's got a quite a nice, like, sunny spot. Steve, you're watching from cold and windy Newcastle this afternoon and you're heading over here in June to Santa Ponza. I think you'll be well due some, uh, some decent weather by then. Oh, but <laughs> Jimmy, that is such a kind comment. Bless you. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, goodness. My daughter saw that, she'll be booking the flights tomorrow. <laughs> Luke, how is the refurbishment of Pappy's doing? I don't know, because I haven't been down there um, recently, but I'm going to be down um, Palmanova way very soon, having a look at all the bars and stuff. And I can't wait for that refurbishment when it um, is finished as well, and what it's going to be like this summer, and who they have playing as well. Pappy's is brilliant. If you like your live music, it's the place to go. It's getting a little bit busy up here. <laughs> I'm outside Mulligan's. You can see Mulligan's just to my right hand side. I've got a few videos to make uh, oop, from around here too. I'm actually seeing stuff I need to film actually, so we're going to head it down in the direction of Palmanova. I'm not going to do a big Palmanova live stream today. I actually have to go to Little and Palmanova um, to go and get some food in. Got these little spas down here too. They're normally Chinese run. But um, they're all over the island. Huge souvenir shop in here too. Right, so we're kind of leaving... Um, we're leaving... Magaluf, we're heading down in towards the San Matias Beach area of Palmanova. The breeze has picked up a little bit down here. It's looking a little bit cloudier as well. Heather, I don't know if the Neonaldo has opened. We can have a quick look to our right hand side. Caroline, you are over in Alcudia in five weeks. You've got some mozzie spray just in case. Hopefully I'll see you over there too. I've got to admit, I honestly feel so privileged doing this channel. I just have to say thank you as well to everyone who um, supports me, um, allowing me to do this channel, whether it's just watching the videos as well. I really appreciate it because especially after being back in the UK and it being so cold, it really kind of brings it home how absolutely lucky um, I am to be living out here and what an amazing audience I've got as well. So I can, I can do this channel, which is brilliant. Look, got the Blue Bay, that's open as well. I think they've had a bit of a a refurb as well because I haven't don't remember it looking so nice. 
There's lots of uh, drilling going on over there in the winter. Oh my goodness me, check out Somatius Beach. It's also packed. Wow, we are just stepping into, um, we are literally just stepping into Palma Nova here. And just behind me as well, we've got the Commodoro Hotel. I'm just gonna come walking down here. But um, a lot of the hotels are open. Oh. Just missed the naked child there. Oh my goodness, right. Here we are, look, check out San Matis Beach. It is busy today. You can see the Globales Hotel right at the end here. You can see the Hotel San Matis Beach right in front of me too. You can see a whole ton of people on the beach. We've got a lot of residents down here, obviously, at this time of year, but we've got a lot of holiday makers too. Most importantly, if you're wondering if you can go in the sea or not, I think you can safely say that you can because there's just loads of people out here swimming too. Patrick, thank you very much for answering that question about the Leonardo. Gurkhan, wonderful to hear, three years and counting. My goodness me. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I've had a bit of a, a busy day today. So what with having to sort out the kitchen, um, I've got to go and do a big major shop now over in Aldi and Lidl, just down the road here in Palma Nova. Once I found my, my car, need to unpack, need to sort the flat out. Um, I actually spent the morning editing that video that I made from over at the airport, filming our journey back here to the islands yesterday because I think it's really important that you guys see that even before I get the get the fridge restocked again anyway um thank you so much everyone for all the super chats and thank you so much for watching this live stream as well I can't believe we, we've got well we had over 200 people over in the live today so I really really appreciate it I'm gonna have loads of content coming out this week as well to help you out with your holiday I know you're really keen to see around the resorts so that is what I'm going to do okay guys I'm gonna leave you with a few views of St Matthias Beach over here in Palma Nova. I'll be uploading again very, very soon. And we've got blue skies coming back very soon too. If you're traveling over to the island, have a safe trip over. We're gonna have a rolling post actually on the Facebook group. So head on over to the Facebook group, join the Facebook group. Give my Facebook page a like as well. I've got other information on there, which I'll be getting out. But every day, well, for the foreseeable, we're going to have a few updates from the airport as well coming through. I know many of you are worried, but um, I don't think you should worry too much. Okay, everyone, have an amazing Sunday from wherever you are watching in the world. And I shall see you on the next video. Goodbye.